Best Saves in Stanley Cup History While anyone can appreciate a good goal, it should only be fair that you also appreciate a good save every now and then, too. After all, goalies have one of the hardest jobs in hockey, as it's not uncommon for the puck to be coming at them at over 90 to 100 miles an hour and sometimes at very short distances. Without further ado, here are some of the better saves that have come about throughout Stanley Cup history. For number one, we have the 2018 Stanley Cup Final between Las Vegas and the Washington Capitals on Game 2 on a save that you can definitely say was clutch as it was with just under two minutes left in the game as Alex Took accepted a pass that is usually a goal as they got the puck to the other side of the goalie. However, Capitals goalie Brandon Holtby had other ideas by spreading out his body and then catching it with his glove. In some ways, you could say that was one of the plays that decided the game as Washington went on to win 3-2. Today's second save comes from just one year earlier from Holtby's save in the 2017 Stanley Cup when one of the NHL's best scorers in the game went up against one of the best goalies in the game. Sidney Crosby versus Pekka Rainey on a play where Crosby had everybody but the Nashville goalie, but Rainey was able to poke it away temporarily. However, that didn't stop another shot and Rene had to use his entire 6-5 frame to keep the puck out of the net, and the score, too. Won Nashville, a game which they ended up winning. Unfortunately, it was ultimately all for not as Pittsburgh ended up winning the series in five games. Moving on to number three, we have the 2019 Stanley Cup, which was a rematch for the same teams that met in the 1970 Cup between the Blues and the Bruins. For the save, we have two shots by Bruins center Carson Kuhlman, who caught the puck off a rebound but couldn't get the puck in the air. But goalie Jordan Bennington was able to get his pad on the puck for a save in the Blues' four. One win, one which made the Blues Stanley Cup champions. For number four, we are going go back to before when some of you were born, 1971 to be exact, in the Stanley Cup between the Canadians and the Blackhawks, where Ken Dryden denied the Chicago shooter from right in front of his face on a rebound. That proved to be a stop that helped Montreal get past Chicago 3-2 and win the Stanley Cup. Moving on to number five, we have Cam Ward going clutch on a rebound by Fernando Pisani, whose initial shot was done by Rafi Torres, which helped Carolina maintain a 2-1 lead, a game which they eventually won 3 won and won their only Stanley Cup in history in 2006. For number six, we have a save in Game 4 of the 2020 Stanley Cup, when Tampa Bay goalie Andre Valasevsky was able to stop two shots by Dallas's Joe Pavelcek consecutively, the second of which he was was able to smother the puck and was a game in which the Lightning came out ahead 5-4 in overtime. For the seventh save in this video, we have a save from the 2020 Stanley Cup, but this time by Dallas goalie Anton Kudobin, when he managed to reach out and put his skate and pad in the exact position it needed to be to make the stop. Just one inch over, and it would have been game as there were about 10 minutes left in the second period of Game 6, a game which Tampa Bay won 2-0 and also gave them the Stanley Cup. Save number eight comes from the same goalie when Tampa Bay's Brian McDonough manages to put a backhanded shot on Kudobon, but he manages to not only knock it away and then catch it, but then also maintain possession as there was a football-style pile up at the end. Moving on to number nine, we have another save by Valesvesky where he manages to use just his right pad on a rebound by Alexander Radulov off of a shot that was initially sent by Dallas's ESA Lindell. For number 10, we Dallas's Tyler Segman, who continues the theme of getting robbed off of a rebound. After hitting the post once, Valievsky manages to get his stick out to redirect the puck outside the net. For 11, we have Dallas's Nick Kamano trying to get beyond Valisevsky, but fails with Tampa Bay's Jan Rutta lunging at him. Valsevsky was able to extend his entire 6E3 frame and split, keeping the puck out of the net. Moving on to number 12, we are going back to the Blues. Bruins series, where the Bruins defender intercepted a pass in Game 7 of the 2019 Stanley Cup with a little over 14 minutes left and managed a slap shot. But it was to no avail as the game stayed tied at zero, a game which St. Louis eventually won 4-1. For number 13 in the same game, we have the Bruins' David Pasternak shooting what looks like is going to be a forehand shot, then moves it to the backhand. 
but the Blues' Jordan Bennington is able to make the save anyways. Moving on to number 14, we are still in the 2019 Stanley Cup playoffs, but this time at other end of the ice, a play which concluded with Tuka Rusk having to concentrate on the puck so much, he might as well have been juggling them. As St. Louis center, Braden Shen managed to push a shot point blank range, which eventually ended up over Rask's head. However, he was still able to keep the puck from crossing the goal line, keeping the game to 0 St. Louis. For number 15, we are going to go to Game 5, the 2021 Stanley Cup, a save where Montreal goalie Carey Price had a different type of shot to defend. While most shots are often off rebounds or extremely fast, which is part of what makes goals exciting. This one was more like trying to tackle a knuckleball in baseball, something which he did successfully to keep the score knotted at zero, even though that was Tampa Bay's 13th shot against Tampa Bay's four. Moving on to 16, we have Price again in the deciding period of Game 5, where Tampa Bay's Nikita Kucherov received the puck at point-blank range against Andrei Valesevsky, who managed to stuff him with the right pad. The Lightning ended up winning the Game 1, zero making them Stanley Cup champions. For number 17, we're going back to the Dallas-Tampa Bay series in Game 4, where it looked like Kamano, who was being trailed by a Tampa Bay defender, managed to get a shot off, but Valasevsky was able to leverage his entire 6-3 frame to outreach him. Moving on to number 18, we are moving on to the 2009 Stanley Cup between the Detroit Red Wings and the Pittsburgh Penguins, when Nicholas Lindstrom's eyes must have looked like a child's on Christmas morning, as he quite literally had the dream of every little kid who ever wanted to play NHL hockey, an empty net and less than 10 seconds less in the Stanley Cup. Unfortunately for him, Pittsburgh goalie Mark andre Fleury had other ideas by knocking the puck to nobody in particular. As a result, the Penguins won the Stanley Cup in seven games and the game two won. For number 19, we go back almost 15 years. And while it may not necessarily be in the Stanley Cup, the save had Stanley Cup-like significance as a Vancouver Canucks fan, the team whom the Bruins beat in the Stanley Cup, was afraid that Bruins goaltender Thomas could single-handedly deny the Canucks the Stanley Cup, and this save against Washington was a good example as to why, as he dove like a shortstop trying to make a play on a ground ball and was able to bat the puck away with his stick. Heading into the 20s, we have the 2007 Stanley Cup, where Alfredson accepted a pass at point-blank range where he was able to get the shot off. However, Jean-Sebastien Giguer was able to get his mitt on the puck to protect a 1-0 lead with 4.20 to go. Moving on to number 21 in the same series, we have a play where Anaheim's Corey Perry finds a streaking Dustin Penner who is able to get off a borderline slap shot with nobody in front of him except Ottawa's Ray Emery, who was able to snatch the puck out of the air to keep the game scoreless early in the first period. For number 22, we have Anaheim's Todd Marchant trying to show people why they are called the Mighty Ducks after splitting two defenders on a breakaway, but he barely got through, and that resulted in an initial easy save for Emery, but he almost had an oopsie as the puck went over his shoulder, but he was able to knock the puck away with about 45 seconds left on the power play and helped protect a four, so three lead. For number 23, we are going back to the 2019 Stanley Cup, when the Bruins took a rask has to deal with a flurry of players in front of the net, and the Blues' Brandon Shen with about 16 o'clock left in the first period, keeping the score tied at zero. Moving on to number 24, we have the Bruins' David Pasternak intercepting a pass off the Bruins' face-off and attempting to inject a one-timer into the net, but Blues goalie Jordan Bennington managed to kick the puck aside with about 15 minutes left in the first. For number 25, we have Raskin Bruins' 6-9 defenseman Zedno Charitag team on a save when Shen, who created more havoc for the Blues, managed to knock it off of Rask's pad, is able to knock it away temporarily and then Carr manages to use his stick to prevent it from crossing the line. For number 26, we have Rask again as the Blues' Alex. Pia Trangelo manages to flick a wrister, and when the puck initially got past Rask, he was able to flip some behind the back action too. Keep the puck out of the net. Lastly, for number 27, the play that was ranked as the top save by NHL.com. We have Joachim Nordstrom, who took an initial shot off of Bennington's pad, causing it to fall away from him, generating a second shot from point-blank range. But Bennington was able to knock that away from his pad as well. 